pool of ashes we just had to go through, it corroded all our guns and they won't fire. We can't return fire to the enemy. I know a man by the name of the professor, and maybe he can help you. Here's his contact information. Go talk to him. Maybe he can help you. Okay. This must be the place. Hello? Hello, come in. You must be John Bachelor. It is an honor to meet you. Yeah. You know the situation? Yes, of course. You need protection for your guns from acidic substances. I have an excellent idea. We will use a process called electroplating. Huh? Electroplating is the process of using electrical current to reduce cations from a solution and then coating it with a thin layer like a metal. Sound Can you show me? Right this way. First, let me tell you about corrosion and why your gun corroded from the acid. It is the breaking down of properties in a metal by chemically bonding with the atmosphere. Suppose you have iron. Uh -huh. Diatomic. It will create rust, or to dumb it down for you a bit, what? it will corrode. Right. I am guessing your gun is made out of carbon steel? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Let us electroplate this. Come. Let us start electroplating. We will need batteries, also called galvanic cells, to convert chemical energy into electrical energy. The anode will be containing the magnesium. The reason magnesium is being used is because it is higher on the activity series than the rest of the metals in carbonic steel. The magnesium ions carrying a positive charge will be attracted to the negatively charged ions in this gun. A soft bridge is necessary. It is a device used to maintain electrical neutrality. This is better than other ways of protecting against corrosion such as anti-rust paint which wears out very quickly and cathodic and anodic protection because it is way too expensive. Electroplating is the way to go. And here is your new gun. Wow! It's red and aesthetically pleasing. Thank you. What if this happened to you? Who would you call? I'd call 1-800-REDOX or visit us at ProfessorRedox.com